Paymon who? Mata Heyday. Paymon Mata Heyday. Who, who is he? Never paid taxes in 30 years. Bought the U.S. tax court and won. See, I believe our rights come from God, not from government. Hello to my truth and freedom seeking friends. I am Paymon Motahede, the president of Freedom Law School, which I created in 1996. And for over 30 years, I have not filed or paid any income or payroll taxes and openly have taught other Americans like you also to be free of income taxes legally and safely. In this presentation, I will cover why you do not need to fear the IRS. And I will debunk the IRS myth of power and invincibility that they'll get you to go home, bank account, paycheck, everything you got if you don't file a 1040 income tax form. First, let me give you a quick refresher on step two, that it's you that hang yourself when you sign that 1040 income tax confession form by signing that 1040 form under oath, under penalty of perjury, you got to stop filing. These are the reasons why you give the IRS power when you file a 1040 form under penalties of perjury. Now, having reviewed that real quickly for you folks, I'm going to tell you this. IRS is a wizard of Oz created by the corrupt major media, which has lied to you for over decades about a lot of other things, including that the IRS is just Powerful thing, the Wizard of Oz, as you shall see in this presentation. You got to realize the IRS is over 99% bluff. In step three, further, I'll cover the reasons why IRS is 99% bluff, okay? It's IRS in 2017, folks, decided to leave non filers alone, okay? So, why did they do that? Why is it the best thing for you to do is to simply stop filing 10 for income tax confession forms? There are seven quick reasons. Number one, the number of non-filers is overwhelming to the IRS. There's 63 million non-filers, folks, according to IRS's best numbers back in 96. The number right now is probably about 80 million. Here's a letter, folks, in which they confessed that they guessed there's about 80 million files, non-files today. Back then, there was 63 million non-filers. Okay? Now, the reason number two, where the IRS was forced to leave the IRS non-files alone, is because they're losing most of their employees and having a hard time replacing them. Yep. Read about it some more. The third reason is that for over 40 years, IRS has failed to update or fix its antiquated computer system has now suspended most updating initiatives. That's right. They are falling apart, the computer systems. Number four reason, IRS can't even keep up with filers who have confessed to own the IRS money over a 9% drop in levies, forced collections by the IRS, who's falling apart worse and worse every year. They would have been closed if they were a private company, but they're not. They just keep going on. Next, it is far more profitable for the IRS to go after filers than non-filers. For we want all the IRS spends on filers, the IRS collects over $300. For the same $1 going after a non-filer, the IRS collects under $3. Well, of course, it's obvious <laughs> who the IRS would choose to go after, where they're going to make more money. Non-filers are a lot more expensive to go after by the IRS. Filers are easy targets. For these reasons, folks, IRS in 2017 chose to leave income tax non-filers alone. This chart shows it all for yourself, folks. It's all not my opinion. It's their own documentation, their own reports. And it is impossible for U.S. tax court judges to go after 80 million non-filers, give them a trial. There's too many of us out there. There's only 31 judges. And non-filers retain your right to a trial, 
that the followers have given up. Bottom line is, folks, Iris is just a myth. Now, there's no way I can go over all this in detail now. What you need to do is to watch the longer, more complete presentation on this topic, which is about 30 minutes in the link description below. There's a link. Click on that link for the 30-minute explanation of all this in more detail, and you'll be free. You will not be free of the IRS folks. Listen to the detailed video as you drive to and from work, watch or order, listen two or three times, you're going to lose your fear of the IRS. You have the power. And then you want to continue to go on to the seven steps to free yourself of IRS deception, fear, robbery, and slavery. We run through step three right now. Go through them at freedomlawschool.org and have you be free and have America be a free country once again at freedomlawschool.org.